Hey yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Vishwesh and today we'll be talking about this very pipe that all of you have been asking about. What this pipe is, what does it do, what are its pros and cons. Everything will be discussed in this very video. So make sure you watch this video all the way till the very end. And in case you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please make sure you do so that all my informative vlogs get to you first thing in the morning. So without any further delay, let's start with this video. Alright guys, so this is the breather pipe that we have been talking about and we'll be talking about today. So what actually the breather pipe does is that in this is actually the combustion chamber of your Royal Enfield motorcycle. The piston moves up and down right in this area. So what happens is when the fresh air and fuel mixture comes in through the carburetor, it is, it is ignited by the twin sparks located right over here. But in some, some cases, that fuel and air mixture is not uh, burnt up properly. Let's say it's not burnt up properly. And those remaining oxides of nitrogen or carbon are neither pushed through, out through the header pipe but stay over there and slowly seep down through the surroundings of the piston and come right over here. Now what the breather pipe actually does is that it takes out all those residual harmful gases out of the engine so as to preserve the uh, life of the piston rings and the piston valves and not to create unnecessary pressure as well as to ensure the efficient combustion of the air and fuel mixture. So it, it comes down over here, then it travels through here and then it reaches the breather pipe and the breather pipe takes it out through here. Now. A lot of you might be wondering if the breather pipe takes out all those harmful gases then where do all those gases go? Well guys let me tell you this is a BS4 motorcycle. In case you have a BS3 motorcycle the same would apply in case of a BS2 motorcycle the same would apply but when there used to be the CI engines or the cast iron engines when this UCE engine had not come out what used to happen was the breather pipe used to take the unburnt few uh, gases and it used to release it right over here and that was the reason if you remember that the old bullets didn't need so much of lubrication to the chain because those micro droplets used to keep on falling on the chain and the chain used to get lubed but now due to stricter emission norms this is a bs4 and the bs3 and all of those because those are pollutants and they harm the environment now those that this pipe is not left out in the open in the environment it is routed over here and this is where it goes if you open the this area of your motorcycle where the f air filter is located you would realize that here the pipe actually ends if you can see it clearly you might be also able to see that there is some oil deposition right over here some oil is there if you can see on my finger right now this there is some oil left because this is where all of that gunk is brought out but it is in a good way because all of that unburnt hydrocarbons they get inside the air filter they lubricate the air filter get actually purified because these cardboards and all these filters inside the air filter actually act as a purifier and that fresh air is again pumped back into the carburetor the carburetor uses that air along with the petrol coming in and then pushes it back into the combustion chamber and then it is used up. So this is an, a cycle that is created. Unburnt hydrocarbons come down, get into the breather pipe, the breather pipe takes it out, leaves it out here. It is get It lubricates the air filter which is required, also gets purified, goes back into the combustion, uh, combustion chamber and get ignum, uh, ignited and is used up. So this is a nice cycle that is made up by Royal Enfield. So guys, that was the basic functionality of the breather pipe. So guys, as you saw, that was all about the breather pipe and its functionality. In case you have any other queries regarding the breather pipe or anything else in a Royal Enfield motorcycle, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section down below. I would be more than happy to get back to you. As far as following me on social media, you can follow me here, here, as well as here. And make sure you hit the like, share and subscribe button. So that was all for today. See you guys in the next. Till the next time. Peace.